Hey guys, tonight I wanted to go ahead and show you this 1973 Sears Allstate trailer. So from the 1950s to the 1970s, Sears, uh, sometimes under the name Allstate, built an all-steel trailer that could easily be towed behind uh, cars that traditionally wouldn't be able to tow a whole lot. So this trailer weighs about 425 pounds with the topper. In 1973, when this was built, uh, the trailer was built by Allstate in two variants. One was the two-wheeled version, one was a one-wheeled version with two couplers in the front, and those two couplers were designed to basically um, attach to a chrome bumper on, say, a Volkswagen bus or a Volkswagen Beetle, other small cars that couldn't tow um, a large amount of weight. So this is the two-wheel variant. It's a little less collectible than the one-wheel version. Um, what I've found is that through the years, a lot of these were owned by um, Volkswagen enthusiasts and others. Maybe, uh, maybe that person owned them for 20, 30 years and then sold them to someone who, you know, maybe put them in a, in a farm field and they rusted away. Uh, this particular model has been sandblasted and has a new Volkswagen color uh, finish and a full undercoating. Um, it does retain the original axles and the original leaf springs and the original wheels, though it does have new tires, tubes, and bearings. I purchased this in 2016 from the original owner. Uh, he was in his mid-80s and had towed this behind a Volkswagen bus and was looking to uh, sell off some of his collection uh, as he got ready to move into an assisted living community. And so what's really funny is he took this to Yosemite and he actually noted that some of the uh, dents here were actually from the scratch marks were actually from a bear that was trying to get food on the inside. Um, in 1973 you could buy this trailer as just the bottom portion or a bottom portion with a clamshell top. And the owner, uh, the first owner that uh, purchased this uh, purchased it without the optional top and then built his own aluminum and wood topper. So I'll go ahead and open it up real quick so you can see the inside. Okay, and so this is what the unit looks like with the top removed. And so essentially what you're left with is a um, four foot by five foot truck bed that's 12 inches deep uh, or tall. And this actually has a removable tailgate that sits on three pins. So you've got two pins that actually hold the tailgate on and that an entire uh, tailgate actually comes off. Uh, again, the original owner actually built this aluminum and wood uh, camper shell and it's about twice as tall as the original stock uh, steel uh, version. Um, so it does allow for some additional storage. Um, again, this unit really didn't have a lot of rust. Uh, when I purchased it from the original owner, he was actually keeping it in his garage. And so I just needed to sandblast it to get some surface rust off uh, the welds on the underside before I undercoated it. Um, I did put on new coupler, uh, new chains, new wiring, and then I went ahead and refurbished all three wheels, added new tubes and tires, and then again new bearings on the two active wheels on the axle, and then added a um, cover for the spare tire. Otherwise, this unit is actually fairly stock. The reflectors, of course, are aftermarket. Um, the lights are original. The fenders are original. The wheels are original. Uh, the tailgate's all original. Uh, the reflectors on the tailgate are original. So this is actually a uh, fairly original unit. I was planning to list this sometime in 2019 um, because we just purchased a 1973 Apache Eagle that I'm in the process of restoring. And what's kind of neat about this one is it still has um, some of the original stickers that came on it in the dealer showroom. Uh, but that being said, I, I have a one car garage and it's time to uh, call some of the herds, so to speak. And so I'm looking to potentially sell um, this Allstate trailer. If this is um, something that you're interested in, go ahead and send me a message. Um, but I thought it would be fun to post this video for those people who are researching these trailers or um, those people who maybe owned one years ago 
and uh, you know, thought this might take them down memory lane. If you're looking at one of these trailers, just as a side note, there's actually a serial number right here, a serial number plate um, just behind the spare tire right there. And so if you're ever trying to research these units and you're looking for parts, you can actually find the serial number right there on the front of the trailer, uh, just behind the tongue. Thanks so much for watching tonight. Hope this video took you down memory lane. And if you have any additional questions on this trailer, feel free to reach out to me.